So to cut to the chase, one night they take the cat home. Somehow the little kitten gets out. It got hit by a car and it died. No. <laughs> yeah, that cat you never met died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. What's up guys? Hope you're all doing good. So yeah, Bill Burr, it's been a while. So right, before I get into it, I just want to say one thing, then we'll just, yeah, just jump straight into it, is for the first member sign up to the channel today, so I'm absolutely stoked. Thank you so much. I'm not going to shout your name out, just in case you don't want to, but if you do, stick it down in the comments and I'm glad to give you a shout out, so thank you so much. And guys, it, like I say, it really does help. Um, like the memberships and stuff like that and keep the channel going. But yeah, guys, let's just jump straight into it because I don't want to chat too much shit. And I didn't turn my speaker on again. Battery, I'll cut that out. In. Right, take two. Let's jump straight into it. Yeah. So I watch a lot of the YouTube videos, right? Sorry, this is so the other night, my wife, lovely wife, she's like falling asleep and I can't fall asleep because I'm all scatterbrained. So I just start watching some YouTube clips. Okay. And I end up seeing this clip of this lady down at the zoo. All right, this lady down at the zoo, Absolutely. who I'm sure wasn't making as much money as the guy who worked at the zoo, and that's what needs to stop. <laughs> hey, ladies, you ever think of opening your own zoo? You know? Is there a reason you wait till we build the whole fucking thing, and then, then you're going to show up when all the hard work is done? All the animals are captured, then you're going to say, hey, where's my fucking corner office? Hey. <laughs> Start your own fucking zoo. Go on, go catch a cobra. See how that is. <laughs> it's not the point of the story. I just like, I just like being a dick sometimes. So this lady down at the zoo. This lady down at the zoo. She taught this gorilla how to do sign language. Okay, and I don't just mean like hello and goodbye. Like literally phrases. This thing could like like talk about its emotions. They were actually conversing. The gorilla was sitting there talking to her. Oh my God, you look a little upset today. She's like, oh, you know, I'm kind of sad. And they're just talking. So immediately, like, my brain just went fucking crazy. I was like, oh my God, she's talking to a gorilla. I love gorillas. Who doesn't want to talk to a gorilla? And then without thinking that my wife is sleeping, I just blurted out, ask it how much it can bench. Ask it how much it can bench. My wife, like, pops up. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, look at this, look at this. She's talking to a gorilla. And we, we both just got sucked into this thing, right? So long story short, she's sitting there, she's talking to this gorilla, and one day she decides to get a little kitten, a little kitty cat, right? And immediately I'm thinking like, don't get it a cat. It's a gorilla. It's going to twist the thing's head off, <laughs> throw the body over there, play with the head for a while, <laughs> sniffing it and stuff, and then later it's going to walk over, set the head down next to the body, and wonder why the whole thing's not getting up again. <laughs> because it's a fucking gorilla. It's a wild animal. Wild animals don't have pets. <laughs> right? It's kill or be killed out there. That's it. They don't have little parakeets on their shoulders and shit. <laughs> but it was the exact opposite. She gives it this little kitten, and the thing immediately understood that it was a baby, and this like parental thing came over. It was so like gentle and filled with joy, and just play it was like beautiful, right? And then they, they just understood that it loved this kitten, and they started using it as like a teaching tool, right? So, so every night they take the cat back, all right? And then the next day they come in, and if the gorilla learned its phrases, it got to play with the kitten. They use it as a motivational tool, so the gorilla's like, vocabulary started going through the roof. Jesus. All right? So to cut to the chase, one night they take the cat home. Somehow, the little kitten gets out. It got hit by a car, and it died. No. <laughs> yeah, that cat you never met died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> I know you knew it, all of it, for fucking 20 seconds. <laughs> you know? I don't know if it was dead instantly, like if it drove right over its head and that was it. <laughs> or maybe it just hit the back legs and it tried to crawl away, but it was, it was like stuck to the road and it was, <laughs> it was meowing out and it could see its breath. And right before it lost consciousness, the rats came in and it was, it was just screaming and it had such cute little paws. It was like little socks trying to get it off. I don't know what happened, but you seem so fucking concerned about this kitten. I figured I'd throw out a couple of theories. More concerned about the kitten than all the Hitler shit, by the way. Overreaction. <laughs> Overreaction, that's fine. Every crowd's a little bit different. I think this is from the, the, the stand-up as um, okay. population the point management of the story. final solution. It looks like, anyway. Was now this lady had to go down to the zoo. She had to tell the gorilla that the kitten was dead, right? 
So she comes back down to the zoo, and the gorilla's all amped up. This is like its favorite part of the day. It, like, its mind is engaged, and it sees its little friend. And at this point, its, it's vocabulary is like crazy now. And the lady shows up, the gorilla's all amped up, and just looks at her just like, oh, shit, what's up? <laughs> yeah! Right? <laughs> now, I can't do sign language, so you're going to have to bear with me through the rest of this bit. I'm going to do the best <laughs> I can, all right? So the thing's like, what's up? Yeah! All right? But the zookeeper lady, she, she has like, you know, just sitting there all sad, you know, trying to think how she's going to tell it, right? And the gorilla picked up on the vibe. All right? She's kind of like, uh, hello. All right? And all of a sudden, the gorilla's energy just comes all down. She just starts looking at the lady like, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's, what's wrong with you? Is there something that I, I, I need to know? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> so the lady's sitting there, she's like, uh, ah, Jesus. Uh, well, well, the, the, the kitty cat, it got hit by a car, and it's fucking dead. <laughs> Immediately took it in. It immediately took it in and understood. Like its bottom lip started quivering, its eyes started watering up, it was signing like crying. And they go, and later on that night, you could hear it crying inside of its house. They built it a house. I don't know why. They live in trees. It's probably the guilt of putting the thing in a fucking jail, right? Whatever. It was like a two bedroom. It sounded like it was in the kitchen. And you just hear this thing in this house at night, just going like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> And that was the end of the video. <laughs> Ew, bastard. <laughs> that was the end of the video. And yeah, like but... you, I was sitting there like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're gonna end on that? And then literally, right in that moment, I felt my wife's head just rest on my shoulder. And she was like, that was so sad. <laughs> I mean, it was beautiful, but it was sad. And I was just like, get off me. <laughs> just, just get off me. And I closed the laptop, set it down on the nightstand, and I just got up and I started pacing. It's this fucking rage was coming up in me. My wife's like freaking out. She's like, what's wrong? What is wrong with you? And I'm just like, what do you mean, what's wrong? That, that video is fucked up. <laughs> what is the purpose of that? You teach a gorilla how to talk, you are shooting the shit, you get it a pet kitten, and then it dies, and then the gorilla cries, and it's fucking sad, and then that's it? That's what you're leaving me with? I gotta walk around with that in my fucking head? <laughs> a point. How was that the end of the video? Somebody, for fuck's sakes, tell me. Dude, that gorilla understood the concept of death. If it understands the concept of death, it understands its own captivity. Okay? So it never dawned on that lady that whole time she's shooting the shit with them. It never dawned on her to sign to the thing like, like, hey, like, do you want to get, get the fuck out of here? <laughs> do you hate it in here? Do you want to fucking kill us for sticking you in here away from your friends in the jungle? And the thing would be like, yeah, yeah, pl please. Get me out! I beg of you! It fucking sucks! In here. <laughs> right? And then you could have brainstormed, right? Like, okay, okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. And then the only bad part would be you'd have to deal with the gorilla and it's, it's, it's crazy fucking gorilla idea. You know what I mean? Like brainstorming, it's an escape plan. The gorilla would be like, okay, we'll get a bunch of bananas, we'll throw them and distract them, and then we'll climb out just using our arms. And then you literally just have to sit there going like, okay, Okay, uh, uh, not, not trying to, to be a dick, but I have a better idea. No, 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 no disrespect to you, okay? <laughs> but I, I'm gonna go to big and tall. I'm gonna get a jacket, a hat, and some fucked up looking shoes, okay? And what I need from you, what I need from you, okay? What I need from you is you, you, you gotta lay off this shit, all right? No more of this. 
Okay, no, 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 no disrespect. Okay? I need you. I need you to man up. All right? Stand up straight. Arm down. Stand up straight. Here's the difficult part right here. Okay? Left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. You got it? Bam, bam. All right? You get that shit down. I'll get you out of here in, in, in 10 days. <laughs> cool? It'll we'll be okay. Good deal. Ah, fuck. All right. <laughs> See you in 10 days, right? It's like the first day the grill is sitting there going like, okay, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> the way he does all this different stuff like this is brilliant, man. It's got to be one of the best storytellers there is. Easily. <laughs> so that's the first day. That's day one, but the gorilla keeps working at it, right? Like day two, day two it's kind of getting, day three, day five, day seven, day nine, day ten, I'm doing it! I'm <laughs> fucking doing it! Then she could have came back and broke that gorilla out of jail. Right? You show up at night, look what you're doing, you're fucking doing it. Put on that jacket, the hat, come on. You take him down to the car. That's the only way to get him back. You gotta take it by car down to the harbor. It's the only way to get it back to the jungle. You can't go to the fucking airport, right? You can't go to the airport standing there going through that fucking security, right? <laughs> Once he takes his shoes off and that thumb comes sticking out, it's fucking over. It's over. You keep it below deck, you keep the fucking thing. Below deck until you get out to international waters. Then you fight. It's captain's log. Come on board, right? <laughs> you have the thing sit down. Other boats going by looking at you like, is that a gorilla? Yeah. What do you got, blood diamonds? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sex slaves, get out of here. <laughs> I'll have it come aboard and rip that mask right off. <laughs> then you're just hanging with the gorilla. You get to have that experience of seeing the thing free for the first time. It comes over the horizon and finally sees the jungle. It's getting all excited. It jumps off the boat. It's rolling around in the sand. You're like, buddy, we did it. Don't fuck up the code. I got to bring it back. We did it. All right, get out of here. I love you too, man. I'm going to miss you. Get out of here before they see you, right? And the thing runs right to the edge of the jungle and then just poof, disappears. It's like, I did it. I knew it. You want to go see his friends, man? You want to be free? It's going to be fucking great. It's going to go meet his buddies. He's going to talk to his friends now like he should be, right? He's, uh, he's gonna go talk to his friends. Well, probably teach them how to talk. And of course, they'll probably get horses. Did I just start Planet of the fucking Apes? He's gonna teach his friends how to talk to get horses? Dude, I gotta kill this fucking thing. I gotta kill it. I fucked up. I gotta kill it. I'm sorry. I got, where's my Glock? Where the fuck is my Glock? Where is it? Right, it's right here. It was right here. Fuck. And you got a little six shooter. Fuck it. I'll take this. And you run into the jungle, but it's a gorilla, so it's long gone. But you can't give up, man. All the society's gonna go down on you. You gotta kill this fucking thing. So you just trudge it through the jungle for months. You get six, seven months in. You got like malaria. You're about ready to give up. And out of nowhere, that your buddy just jumps down. Boom. Just like. Oh shit! What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> you just pull out your six shooter. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I gotta do it. The girl be like, but I, 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 I thought we were friends. Why? Well, you know, cause. Because Jesus wanted it that way, you know? 
there's this whole book he made us in his image, which we just, you know, we're, we're better than you, you know? Sorry, I can't have you talking to other fucking chimps and then you tear down the Statue of Liberty. I just, everyone's gonna think I'm an asshole. I, I, I Look, I'll make it quick. And right as you go to pull the trigger, the gorilla pulls out that Glock you couldn't find. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever indeed. I just, I just want to know one thing. How, how did you know? You knew before I knew. I don't have an ending for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. And in a weird way, now you know how I felt when I watched that video. <laughs> you know what it was? You know what it was? Was I did that joke all around the country, all right? And the gorilla always died. Because Jesus wanted it that way. And that was it. And it fucking bombed in every goddamn city in this country, except for Dallas, Texas. That was the only place where they got it. And I'm not shitting on Texas. It, it, it bombed in Houston, Austin, El Paso, San Antonio. Killed in Dallas. They're the only ones who got it. They were just like, hey man, you did what you had to do. You did what you had to do, man. I mean, I love that gorilla too, but God damn it, you cannot have two species working together. I'll tell you right now, you get a couple of gorillas on a bareback horse with a single bolt action rifle. That is the end of society as we know it. <laughs> You should get a hypothetical medal for killing that gorilla. It always takes a but I. So, all right. <coughs> <clears throat> well, that was it, guys. That was absolutely brilliant. That was probably one of the first suggestions from Bill Burr we had, and I've only just got around to doing it. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna get on with some Dave Chappelle next because. Uh, I think the video that I'm going to do, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's been like one of the most requested videos. It's so about the uh, the black terrorists one, um, the black, sorry, terrorists don't take black hostages. So yeah, I'm going to get that done now. So that'll be going up Thursday. So yeah, see you in the next one. Oh, well, no, one second. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.